one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, ten. <laughs> Hi guys! How's everybody doing today? Belinda here. Welcome back. And if you haven't been here before, I welcome you so much. Thank you for taking time out of your day to spend with me. We are, or we are, <laughs> I am actually, I went out um, to the city today and went to a thrift store and I want to show you what I got. Um, and then I want to just share a little bit that I noticed at the thrift store, which was really interesting. Um, so yeah, let's look at what I got. First up, I got this. Well, I don't know what brand it is. Let's see. Carter's. Look at this. It's a Carter's newborn winter sleeper is lined. Look at the big hood on it. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? It's lined inside. I'm pretty sure it's a sleeper. Is it a jacket? It wouldn't be like a put over clothing. Is it? What does it say here? D -d 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 I'm what? I'm cool like that. I just thought it was so sweet. Very sweet. So I got that. Oh, I got this cute little Thing for Trevor's grandson, Daddy's boy. Um, little socks. I love mommy. I always try to pick up little socks when I find them. And you know what? It's okay to buy things from the thrift store. You don't have to buy things new. I mean, really, once you wash them up, clean them up, they're all good. I thought this was so sweet. This is just says Superstar Baby. I don't know what that is. But look at the suns. Isn't that pretty? I thought that was so pretty. It has little feet on it. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I got to wash these. I got to throw them all in the washer. I seen this and I thought this is perfect for Easter. It's an old navy. Obviously, they're all wrinkled and stuff, but I got to wash them all up. But look at the little feet and so bright and yellow. And it has these little hands in them. And I try to find these because these are perfect for cuddle babies, right? So if you have these with the little fingers, you don't have to wear the, the mittens and you got your feet and hands covered. It's perfect for little cuddle babies. Uh, let's see. Oh my gosh. Where's this from? Little me it's called. This still has the tag on it. Brand new. Look at the feet. Oh, I love the feet. Little bears. I always find girl stuff. It seems like, I don't know what it is, but I like the baby girls. I mean, I love boys too, don't get me wrong. But I gravitate towards the girls. And I think maybe it's because I'm a girl. I don't know. And because you can find such cute, cute things. Cute, cute things. So... Here's another one, lots of flowers. Obviously, I like lots of flowers. Look, little feet, more little feet. And this is Simple Joys by Carter's. Super sweet. Um, this sleeper, and I love these little pink flowers. It's so dainty. It's from Little Me. And look, look how dainty and beautiful, and look, has a little ribbon there. Oh, that was so cute. This might be perfect for my little baby on the way. Did you know I was expecting? I am. All right. And a beautiful dress up dress for like, we have a fancy dress up theme. Got a beautiful dress. I was really looking for like sports themes and um, for In Love with Reborns on Thursday, Dress Up Thursday. Um, and I found this. Isn't this precious? This does not have feet in it, 
but the pretty, pretty roses. And this is Modern Moments Organic, it says. I thought it was really nice. And look at the little, little um, I don't know what you'd call this, frilly things going down the side. So pretty. And what's the brand name of this dress? It says Wonder Nation. I, like, I don't know this, but I think it's so precious. And... For my new baby, I got a little toy. It's a little rattle called Flopsy. I got to throw this in the washer, too. Yeah, I got to throw this in the washer, too. So cute. Little bunny. And for my sports theme, I only found this, but it's all baseballs. Isn't that nice? It's like one of those rafts, but it's all baseballs and bats. So that was my thrift store haul. It was awesome. I had a great time. Now, what I did notice when I was in the thrift store in Halifax, the mission, known the mission store was closed, it was Guy's Frenchies. What I did notice, what well, wasn't Halifax, was it Sackville? Anyway, doesn't matter where. But when I was looking around, you know, I just... I don't know, an observant person. I observe people's behaviors. It's just a habit, I guess. I observe things a lot. And so um, one guy came into the bathroom or the bathroom. And when he first went in, of course, he had a big duffel bag. And he was looking at all things before he went to the bathroom. Then he went in the bathroom and left. And his bag's packed solid. And I seen that he had a toaster and stuff and went back to, I went back to check to see if that toaster was there, wasn't there. So he filled his bag and walked out. Two girls were in there. And I'd say girls, what I mean is younger than me. What I mean is under 30. You know, they could have been in their 20s, mid 20s, but no, yeah, mid 20s and younger. So um, they were in there shopping around. And they had bags over their shoulders. And they were just walking around looking. And and then you'd see them take stuff and put it in the bag. Take stuff and put it in the bag. And I was like, what is with this? Like, so... And one girl said, oh, I'll put that in my bag. I don't know if the other girl didn't have room for her stuff or what. And I was thinking to myself, like, what kind of world do we live in nowadays? You know? So I'm like, just keeping my eye on them. Still looking around and looking at the baby stuff. And then I seen another girl who was um, just by herself, <coughs> 25 and under. She was, um, she had a purse over her shoulder and she had a shopping cart with some stuff in the shopping cart, but she also had a purse over her shoulder and her purse wasn't big. It was, I guess, a medium sized purse. And uh, she was putting stuff in the shopping cart. But as I was walking by, because I was going over to look at the, the baby blanket, see if I could find anything nice there. Um... She just had an item in her hand and she just tucked it in like her. It was over her shoulder. She just opened this part, tucked it in. Like, what is going on? Like, my daughter tells me things. She works and I won't reveal where she works, but she works in a drugstore. And it's not uncommon for people to go in and all the expensive perfumes are just sitting out. They're not in a locked cabinet the way maybe they should be. And uh, it's not uncommon for just someone coming in and mostly guys and they just walk over to this stuff and they just start throwing it in a bag. And she has said things more than once, right? And she's shown me a few recordings about this with her saying, you know, stop this, like I'm calling the police, blah, blah, blah. And they just tell her, they just ignore her or whatever. And uh, they just fill their stuff up and walk out the door. Like this is a regular occurrence, right? And it's, I don't know what's going on in my day. Well, what's going on is I'm getting older and generations have changed and I got to accept that. And that's just the way the world crumbles. However, in my day, <laughs> in my day, when I worked in retail, they had security and security would tackle people. I wouldn't say tackle people, but they would grab a hold of them and people respected that security. So 
it was like you would see people with security going to the office, right? And they they were caught obviously for shoplifting. They didn't just say back, fuck you. Oh, excuse my language, but this is an adult channel. They didn't say something back like, you know, swearing back or tell you to whatever, whatever, whatever. They didn't say those things. They would just go with security and face the consequences of, of shoplifting. Folks, now they just walk out. They just walk out. Even though they have security cameras, if they can't find them, what can they do, right? I mean, they're not even co covering their faces. They're talking right into the cameras. <laughs> you know, my daughter has videos and they're just saying something and just walk out. And it's just, I don't understand it. Like in that one thrift store, I witnessed four people stealing stuff. So when I was ringing my stuff through, I went up to the counter and I was ringing my stuff through. And I said to the lady, um, oh, good. I just want to mention something. And she said, what? I said, um, just me being in here, I've noticed four people that there's a lot of theft going on. I said, three of them are still here and they're just putting things in their bags. And she said, oh, I know it's unfortunate. And I looked at her <laughs> and me, you know, different generation, I guess, looked at her and I said, um, did you hear what I said? And she said, yeah. I said, there's people like stealing stuff, put it in their bags. Yes, I know. It is unfortunate. That's it. She didn't ask, do I see them or I'll have to keep an eye out and, and maybe I'll follow the, call the police department. Nothing. Well, that's unfortunate. And then I'm there buying a bunch of stuff. I'm thinking in my head, my gosh, I should have just walked out with it. I wouldn't do that because, you know, I just wouldn't. But it makes you think, like, if they don't care, what is this free for all? Like, you just walk in, walk out. I don't know. Anyway, that's my little complaint for today or story, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> anyway, guys, have a great day. Happy Wednesday. Bye.